Yo, hello everyone. Are you ready to start selling products online? In this video, I will show you how to create an e-commerce website in Webflow. From setting up your product catalog and designing product pages to configuring a shopping cart and integrating payment gateways. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, once you have created successfully the template, the website, etc. Once you have to, do, once you've done that, you have to do is go into this section and search it for e-commerce cards. Click on it, and then click here. So they will automatically create two new collections to get you started, which are products and categories. So click on here to let's do this, and here you go. So now you have products over here. You have here cut categories, discounts, orders, and subscriptions. Now for you to be able to finish everything uh, in order to get your website ready to go, there is a setup here on the guide to help you go through the process of creating an e-commerce website. For example, first start by adding a business address, then review currency settings. So here we go, we can click here, continue, and here what you have to do is go to business address, choose everything correctly, and choose your country choose the currency settings so we are going to use the, uh, the dollar and then we click on continue so this is how you can do these two things then once you have done with everything in those two sections you have to start by adding products so click on add products and here you can start by adding uh, simple items for example now let's click here to new product and let's choose what kind of product is going to be so let's say for example we are going to add an iphone so it's going to be physical and then let's name it iPhone X. So this is the slug, which is the URL, uh, how it's gonna look like. Here a description about it, so we can get it from uh, ChatGPT. It's gonna help us a lot to do this. So here we go. I have it already. Let's copy this. This is over here. Here we can add categories. So I'm going to add a new category, which is technology. And click on add through here. So, technology, create, and it has been added. Now let's add a main image. So here we go. And let's start here by putting the billing informations. So, uh, here I'm going to set it for 399. Uh, your store currency is in dollars. Uh, here, if you want to add any tax settings, you can add them through here, so they will be charged for the taxes as well. Here, if you allow the shipping, you can add here the shipping information about like the iPhone. So it's gonna be around 174 grams. Uh, let's change this from uh, ounces. Okay, this is on ounces, so we have to change it. Uh, so 174 grams to ounces. Let's see how much it is. So 6.1. Here we go. Uh, the width, uh, you can get it from ChatGPT as well. So everything is going to be here in the description that will, it will give you. So it is about like that. I don't know. Just put everything like so. And once you're done with that, you can add options. For example, iPhone will not only come as iPhone X. So there is iPhone XS, iPhone X Mac, similar max pro there is a bunch of options and there is also colors and there is also more gigabytes so here you can add these options as long as you know what to add and what options you have you can add them through here for now we're only going to sell iphone x to normal state so then once you are done click on create through here there are two arrows on this page check the arrows misses to fix them so we have two arrows here the price is correct um Okay, the L's are in the options, so I have to close options section, and if I create it, it will be working perfectly. So now we have iPhone X as our products, and we have a category of technology. Now you have literally everything ready to go. So, for example, if you state for publish, you can hear uh, states for publish, so it says publish, all you have to do is just uh, go to your website and then publish the website itself, so it's not a big deal for you, you can just click here and publish it. Uh, the second thing that you have to do is actually add some coupons and billing address, etc. So let's go here to e-commerce, continue, and once you fill this, they will give you the getaway of payments. 
So let me just go to general uh, here from dashboard. Here we go. So in the marketplace, there is some apps that can help you with the payments. So there is so much stuff over here that can help you. But for us, we will go with e-commerce. And here, e-commerce, there is so much stuff that can help you uh, increase your sales. So here there is some more to ask for e-commerce that will boost your sales with abundant cash recovery reviews and subscription affiliates. Here there is Common Ninja that has all in one widget suit so it can help you have some good design for your website. Here there is this WhatsApp contact as a logo that will be appear on your website once they open the website they can contact you through website through the website itself. There is Printful, Astroic and much more apps that can help you as well. So you can use them for your benefits. And yeah, guys, this is as simple as it is. As you can see, uh, you don't have to know anything about programming to make an e-commerce website. I've made it in like eight minutes uh, or even less than that. So it is very, very, very useful to have uh, like Webflow or something like that. If you're not a programmer or something like, or, or like professional uh, PC user to create a uh, e-commerce website you just have to go to one of these platforms and you can make it uh, happen and guys this is like a brief for you it's just a side point for you so you can know more about webflow and the e-commerce in it so this is a reddit article about it and that's what it says is webflow's e-commerce good well the short answer is no and these are some decent arguments about it so webflow e-commerce launched in february 2019 coming up on 3.5 years, which is now about 4.5 years as production feature. In that time, they still haven't figured out, and still in the, our time, they still didn't figure out how to add more than just Stripe and PayPal as payment gateways. In store pickup options, and customer accounts and order history, and of course, uh, manual adjusting taxes and volume discounts. So these are the things that are missing. The list goes on, of course, and here the design in Webflow, uh, why, you, for example, you can simply just go to Shopify or Udly or third-party software, for example. Shopify by button, long tutorial, you can simply just simple to set up, takes advantage, uh, takes advantage of Shopify backend, cons cross domain to track and track, uh, track and sacks, can't use Shopify apps, which is fairly major, uh, pre-orders, subscription. So here, Shopify, you can't really link it with Webflow. You can't really link Webflow with Udly, and you can't link any kind of other third software party like Foxy, Equid, or Snapcart. So these are things that are missing. And here, Webflow has brutal formal submissions. That problem is a post into itself that Webflow has absolved themselves of basically saying you are using our forms yet by the uh, third party instead. So this is some kind of people here. Even the answers are actually saying the same thing. Uh, ours, of course, Shopify has the hosted e-commerce thing all sewn up. A uh, long answer no. So here all the people are actually saying that the e-commerce sucks on webflow so in case guys you are going for webflow e-commerce i highly suggest that you don't go for it and yeah guys that was basically it i hope to like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial